right, here we go, here we go. An ugly, debilitating debacle at Madison Square Garden tonight. We thought we were going to have a carryover right, after the KP go, game. Go. An ugly... Knicks lose 103-102. to 102. Uh, the game is still over, and the Charlotte Hornets are still hitting three-pointers, J. Ellis. They are still cashing three-pointers. Devontae Graham with the dagger. Knicks lose 103-102, man. Yeah. Talk, talk to me, bro. How would you feel about this tonight, man? Yo, I'm tight. Though. I, I, this, was a, this was a very winnable game. Winnable this game, time. man. Gut check. We lost this in the third quarter, to be honest with you. Yeah. I know it seems like the fourth quarter is where things went wrong, but we really lost this in the, in the third quarter. We should have put them away there, but um, we never really learned to guard the three-point line. At all. At Terrible. All. Terrible, man. It, yeah. It, yeah. It, it was, uh, you know, 15-point lead in the third quarter. Mm -hmm. um, hey, listen, for, for what it's worth, the, the zone – was working at points in, in the first half. I, I thought the defense was was pretty good in the first half, and they it, it just broke down. Third quarter, it broke down. Fifteen point lead gets cut down to one by the end of the by the end of the third. Knicks mm -hmm. were able to uh, pick it back up. Charlotte now tries to give us a taste of our own medicine with their version of the zone. Yeah, which was you know give credit to them, well executed. We don't have the shooters on this team. Uh, they they try to take advantage of Frank in terms of his dribble penetration, a lack thereof, and they were able to get back into the game. Knicks, yeah, yeah, go ahead, good. I mean, eventually, kind of Frank kind of figured it out, and he was able to get some like pick and roll stuff happening with Mitch to break down the defense right. and that that zone. But um, yeah, that definitely stunned us. That and yeah. the, the three point barrage from those guys, and he kind of even started early in the second quarter. To be honest with you. It just continued. The Knicks never adjusted. Never, never adjusted. Never adjusted, man. And, um, you know, this, this was a game we should have had. No doubt about it. This was a game we should have had. I think Frank, um, listen, he, he wasn't perfect. Obviously, he lost Graham on this play. Shouldn't have lost him. The guy had already hit eight three-pointers at this point. You got to know exactly where he is. Uh, there, there was no reason to help. Um, um, on, on Mitch there and, and he loses Graham. Graham hits him with the misdirection and, and bangs the three. I kind of disagree with you because from, from the angle to me, it looked like Graham was going to cut right and pick off Frank. So Frank was trying to anticipate get, it, anticipate the he was, pick. Yeah. But I don't know if you, I don't know if you like play football when you do that hard fake, right? Oh, yeah. You're done. Left, you're, you're done. You're done. And with you're the done. speed that Graham, I mean, to be honest, Frank recovered. He did, he did, he did. And he was a challenging, he challenged that shot perfectly. He just, Graham was, he just hit the shot, man. Yeah, give give credit, shot. give credit. It was a great play by Graham. Excellent yeah. play by Graham. Even tougher shot that he got off. And, and you know, he was able to get it off, man. But, you know, listen, other end down the stretch, give credit. RJ brought us back into the game. He finishes with 22 points. Uh, hey, man, Julius gave us some clutch buckets, but... Um, down the, the the key moments in the final two, we we just couldn't get the the proper stops, and and you know with two seconds left, you give the ball to Julius. I wasn't really expecting much, and he and he puts up an air ball. Yeah, like this is this is the thing with Fizz, man. Like people are getting on Fizz for his back coaching, and rightfully so. But at the same, like Fizz has done some good things as far as. You know, he's inserted some nice plays that the team is running. He, he's had some de pretty decent defensive schemes. But the substitution pattern within the last five minutes of the game. Was it? Didn't work. Didn't work out tonight. Yeah. Did, like did. Putting Dennis Smith Jr. in to the game yeah. with four minutes left when he hasn't played all game was scary. Right. Taking R.J. Barrett out when he was going in the last two minutes of the game was a head scratcher. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Having, having a Randall post up. With, yeah, yeah, like having Randall handle the ball at all should <laughs> should never be allowed. Should yeah. never be allowed, man. Yeah, like I feel like Randall was got it going in a fourth, and he hit a lot of tough shots. But I was scared, he, even though he was hitting. I was like, yeah. Every time he hit him, I was like, no, 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 yes, 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 no, 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 yes. But I, <laughs> yeah, that's that's Randall for you, man. <laughs> yeah, man. That's Randall for you. 
and and no RJ to close the game. I mean, I mean, on the final possession, he puts in Ellington, who hadn't played the whole damn game. And <laughs> I don't know what you were expecting there. I, I'd rather go with all or go back to Mook. How about the hero? Yeah, I thought, yeah. How about the hero from Thursday night? Go to Morris, not Randall. Not Randall. Give me like Morris. That. I'll give I'll live and die with Morris or RJ on the last play. Not Julius Randall on a fadeaway jumper, Jay Ellis. He can't shoot, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now I feel you. And I think um Ellington was in there as a decoy. Ellington was a D, a DS decoy they, so they can spread the floor and he wouldn't cheat. Yeah. I'd still like to your point, it was still the wrong play. I still think like you, if you're not gonna have RJ in the game and you know Morris was hitting those clutch shots night before, I would go with Morris. He's just he's just a lot more versatile in those situations than than uh Randall is. I don't really trust Randall's I don't see I mean, how much more do we have to see to say yeah. trust, man? No, yeah, that's man. not the guy I want shooting it at the end. And yeah. so with the, you know, and, and listen, get, again, give credit to Charlotte. They came back. They were uh, resilient. Um, they, they they had a higher percentage from three tonight than they did at two. Yeah, that was crazy, man. Actually, no, they, no, they ended up 41% overall, but 35 from three. Um, it just put a lot of pressure on us, man. And, and once we get into that crunch time situation, we still learning as a team how to... Uh, execute, you know, execution down the stretch. Who's who are we gonna go to? Who you know who's gonna yeah. come through for us? That's that's still a work in progress. You know what it I mean? Is, it definitely is, but it's like man, I, from night to night it seems different. Some nights it seems like we do well, and and some nights it just seems like we kind of throw some things at the wall and see what sticks. I agreed. Like, to be honest with you, the shots we hit tonight down the stretch, they were tough shots, dude. We were hitting them. Yeah. But like I, I didn't like. I know we were hitting, but I didn't like how we got him. That's that's mm. kind of how I judge things, man. Like, like I want to see easier shots down the stretch sometimes, and it doesn't seem yeah. like we hit him all the time. We, we relied on our talent a lot, and and got try, lucky. Try try to out talent him, and and that's why I think you saw DSJ get that last second run, because even though Frank had his moments in the fourth. I think FaZe was, was trying to get us easier shots, like you said. I think he yeah. was trying to get us easier buckets. And when they had that zone going there, uh, you know, Frank caught him a couple times. He busted it a couple times. He, he found one where he caught Portis in the middle. Portis threw that quick alley up to Mitch to slam it in. So they, they were trying to, to break, do different things to break down the zone. But even when Frank had his opportunities to create separation, he was still bricking. You yeah, know, and that, that's the problem. Like, he, he's yeah. got to be able to knock down those wide-open shots because he's working so hard to get open. No, that's a fact, man, because he was getting open and then he wasn't hitting the shots. But then you had DSJ, he was kind of he, like, he He was done. Yeah, five fouls in seven so, minutes, man. Mentally, yeah, he was out. So, so, I mean, so at that point, you had RJ going, just go RJ and throw in another guard. Yeah. Especially, like, especially if they're going quick. I, I would just, in that point, I would go RJ point. And put in Dotson or something like, yeah. and, and to keep up with the speed and the, the three point shooting, if anything. Because um, yeah. if, if DSJ had more rhythm and like more got more into the flow, then then I'm I would have put him in. But he he played like five minutes in the game, and to throw him in at crunch time is just like wow. Yeah, it's <laughs> iffy, man. Iffy, iffy rotations, iffy substitutions, and uh, and, and a tough loss, a absolute heartbreaking loss, man. Um, yeah. You know, good good points of the night. Mitch, how about Mitch, man? M- Mitch put it all on the line for us today, man. He was an absolute monster on the glass. Finished with 17 and 12. Third yeah. in the league in second chance points. Yeah. Ends up turning the ankle. Still comes back into the game. Finishes the play with a slam. Still ends up trying to finish the game. I, I thought Mitch did, did all he could to, uh, to get us a W, man. Yeah, man, Mitch, it was scary, man, because it's like, dude, we just got him back. And if yeah. we learn anything from that Dallas game, it's just how integral he is to the Knicks' success because, like, we're we not always good at shooting, and he just cleans up a lot of mistakes. I think he has, like, one of the – I think I saw a stat that says he has the highest offensive rebound percentage in the league or something like that. I, I need to double-check that. But yeah. he, he just cleans up a lot of the bad shots that we take, and we need him on offense and on defense. Couldn't agree more, man. Could not agree more. And even though, you know, he only had uh, 
How many blocks Mitch had tonight? He had one block. Right. But if you looked at how he was impacting the game, yeah. he altered so many shots. He changed yeah. a lot of decisions out there. And, oh, again, you know, the, the, the impact of Mitch was, was certainly understated. Certainly oh, that's understated. for sure. That is for sure. I've seen some – I don't know. I don't remember what play it was. I think it was, like, first half when – I don't remember. Was it Monk? Who kind of saw Mitch coming and just yeah, kind of turned the, the yeah, turned the corner. <laughs> he, he turned the corner on him, man. Yeah, man. It was like that little kid who was scared his big brother was going to come and block the air out of the box. Hung it up and prayed. And that's the intimidation that Mitch brings. So hopefully that ankle turn isn't so bad and he's back for us 100%. I hope know? not. But but like I said, it's I, I, ex, I almost expect that of, of Mitch. Un, you know, unfortunately, um, just, just the way he's built, it, yeah, it's it was, just, you know, unfortunate. That was a free play, too. Did you see how he got injured? I, you know what? I just looked at the shot went off, and I just looked, and he was down on the ground. I didn't even see yeah. it. It, it, it. It wasn't even Mitch's fault. It was one of those, it was a free play. Batum happened to be walk jogging behind him, and Mitch stepped on his foot. Oh wow! So it was very. It wasn't like some game action stuff. It was really free play. It was like you just couldn't see that one coming. Kind of like how Mello was jogging backwards, and the ref kind of in a way. It was kind of something like similar to that situation. So I was kind of nervous because Mitch didn't really have time to brace himself because he didn't even see between behind him. He didn't see him coming at all. Yeah. So hopefully he's okay. He came back in the game, but, you know, hopefully he's okay long term. Uh, those bang, bang Marcus Camby plays, man. You know that's, you know that's Mitch yeah. for you, man. Unfortunately. Unfortunately, that's Mitch. Uh, I also thought Taj, Taj gave us some excellent minutes. Um, the bigs, the bigs, you know, Porters gave us good minutes off the bench, man. 14 points, 50% from the field, two for two from downtown. I thought Porters gave us some, some good minutes off the bench. Taj in a starting role, 9.7 boards. I thought he and Frank really set the tone defensively in the beginning of the game. Uh, again, all, all for naught, man, because this, this, this battle was lost on the three point line, you know? They, yeah, man. We we were six for twenty. They were seventeen forty eight attempts. Sheesh. Oh, 48 attempts from three, man. That's crazy. Six threes in the third quarter, man. That's really what it. We lost in the third quarter, man. Yeah. We third, lost in the third quarter. Third quarter, it unraveled. Fifteen point lead. Fifteen yeah. point lead, man. That, that we yeah. had. Yeah, but I, I like I like what I saw from Taj though, man. He's just a vet. He plays both ends of the floor. Makes timely cuts, hard picks, and some scrappy defense out there, man. Even at the three-point line, sometimes you saw him kind of playing some defense like he's a guard out there. Man. Right. Yeah. Uh, I, I agree, man. Taj is starting to play like the guy we thought we were getting. So so yeah. that's, that's certainly uh, refreshing. So, oh, uh, man. Tough loss. We got Cleveland coming back in on Monday. Uh, hopefully we, we can get a revenge. Maybe that's a revenge game. Yeah. And avenge this one, but th- this one, this one has to leave a bad taste in your mouth, man. Yeah, man. Th- this one has to leave. I, I, my halftime thoughts was like, yo, we can't lose this game. There's no way we should lose this game. Yeah, man. Whatsoever to this team. I they were just in- coming off a back to back themselves. I thought it was in the bag, man. I, I thought it was in the bag. I thought it was in the bag. It was gonna be our first two game winning streak of the season. I thought it was in the bag. We looked like we was in control of the whole game. Even when they made their run, I was like, I still think we got it. Yeah. It's just, man, wow. Nah. Do you, would you foul? Would you foul on that last? <sighs> would you foul that last play? When, uh, when. With, you know, with knowing, Graham, right? Yeah, knowing they needed a three to win. I know it's a tricky, that's a tricky thing for a coach to. Nah. To I'm, I'm, not, I'm not, I'm not fouling. I'm not fouling. Because I because I'm I'm not necessarily expecting them to shoot the three. I'm expecting them to go for a quick two. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, I was gonna name three. I mean, get, like I said, you just got to give the other team credit, man. This kid, the kid hit it. He he caught Frank, caught him slipping, and yeah. uh, and, and knocked down and still knocked down a gutsy uh, three pointer in, in the clutch. So now, I wouldn't foul on that. I wouldn't give them the free points to tie the game. You know what I mean? I would yeah. let him. I would let him beat me from the field. And the kid just made a great play, man. Jeez. So, you know that that's just all she wrote, man. That yeah, is man. just all she wrote, JLs. And and there's there's some chatter in the chat right now that um they're putting this loss on you, man. 
because it seems like when we're not together, man, we get W's and and when 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 we're together, man, I don't know if it's me, I don't know if it's you, bro. I'm not I'm not sure if we need a reorganization or something or we got to uh, figure uh, out, you know, uh, our, our post game <laughs> rotations. I'm not sure. Our <laughs> rotations might need work. We were talking about physical rotations. Our rotations might need work, JLs. I don't know, man. There's some chatter in the chat. They put your thir- they're throwing you under the bus, man. Hey man, I can use a nap anyway. <laughs> <laughs> nah, Thursday night was lit, man. Thursday night was lit. <laughs> yeah, I was lit too. I'm I, I, sorry I couldn't stay at the bar, but I had to go. <laughs> Yo, we we got there. They shut it down. I couldn't get even get in. <laughs> I, I could not even get in, man. So. Uh, oh no, that's all the visual outside. Yeah, yeah, oh, we couldn't wow. get in. The, the, the way they the people organized it, um, I guess it was it ended early by the time we got there. So. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, oh, wow. yeah, yeah. BKB in the chat says we need to buy you a one way ticket to Jamaica, bro. <laughs> bro, <laughs> hey, that. yo, I'm with it. <laughs> <laughs> the J yo, Ellis, the yo, J Ellis curse yo. is real. Yo, check this out, fam. Oh, super <laughs> chat is open. If y'all want to buy me some tickets to Jamaica, <laughs> matter of fact, I'm putting my, I'm putting my my, my PayPal information. <laughs> the J Ellis <laughs> curse is real, right folks. Fun, yo, fun my trip to Jamaica. The, the J Ellis <laughs> curse is real, man. 